Hey everybody, Jason here. So I've just arrived at the uh, put-in point uh, S Narrows to get into Naganosh Lake Provincial Park and uh, meeting my buddy Derek here. So we're gonna go on a canoe trip for six days? Six days, Derek? I think so. Yeah, six days. Five nights, six days. Today we're supposed to get rain. It's supposed to actually be a pretty severe thunderstorm a little further north up. So uh, I think we're going to avoid the heaviest, but it's, uh, yeah, kind of just want to get going and uh, get the boats in the water and put some distance between us and the bad weather and see how it goes. So anyhow, I'm not going to talk too long. Uh, just get the boat in the water and get going. Yeah, so we've been paddling for an hour? An hour and a half. Hour and a half. And uh, just taking our time. We've got a bad shoulder at the moment, so yeah, Derek's being patient with me and we're just taking our time and uh, it's been raining, so we found a little outcrop or cliff or whatever you call this. Tuck in for a minute. Um, yeah, what are your first thoughts? It's really beautiful. It's quiet. Yeah. And like you said, the water feels like a bathtub. Yeah. And there's nobody out here. That's what's so nice about it. Yeah, even so, there's cottages. We're not yet into the park. Would you say the name of this lake, lake was? Kawigamog? Ka Ka something like Ka that. Kawigamog? Something. Yeah. Anyway, so this part, we're not yet into Naganosh Provincial Park. Uh, in about another kilometer or so. We'll get to a portage, and then that is basically the start of the park, and mm -hmm. uh, we just continue down, looks like, whatever, creek or river, probably a kilometer or two. Into Smoky. Into Smoky. Um, so that's when we'll get into the park. Right now, we're outside of it, and there's cottages and whatnot, and yeah, it doesn't even seem to be people at the cottages. No, I think it's shut down for the weekday. <laughs> probably, yeah. 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 Oh, and so uh, for reference of that, uh, because sometimes I watch videos, other people's videos, and I wonder about what time of year it is, um, especially when people are talking about bugs and stuff like that. So it's July 22nd today. Yes. So July 22nd, 2020. So yeah. So I think we'll sit for a minute and then uh, just keep going and probably have a bite to eat at the portage. Yeah.
Maybe. <laughs> all right well we found a campsite and we've spent a little bit of time setting up uh, derek's got his tent up and we set up a, a tarp down there later i'll put my hammock underneath of it but uh for now if the rain comes back in we want to have somewhere where we can just you know sit underneath or whatever stay dry uh, had a very late lunch and yeah got changed out of my wet clothes got them hanging up it does look like it's probably gonna rain again but the forecast says it's gonna stop around eight o'clock or something like that so we should be all right
already now. Maybe maybe I was in the first sack. Just put my food bag in. The mice. Hmm. Yeah, but they they're just a tie at the top, aren't they? Yeah, but they can't chew through at least. I caught that chipmunk trying to chew through my But wouldn't the mice like do they fold at the top? Wouldn't they, they be tie, able to scroll? They cinch really tight. I'm just talking like sitting on the ground here. Yeah. I've never had a problem with mice or, or chipmunks trying to chew into my food bag first. All right, well, good morning, everyone. So, yeah, it's the second day. Last night went well. The rain did stop, you know, as we were paddling in, and we didn't get any other rain overnight. Um, yeah, it's a nice spot, actually, good camp. Uh, one thing, though, we have chipmunks during the day that I think they've probably been fed a lot out here, so they're constantly looking for food, trying to get in to our food bags, and yeah, quite bold actually, you know, coming right up to us, walking across our feet and stuff like that. Um, very cute, but also a little bit annoying <laughs> that they want to eat our food. Um, yeah, last night as well, mice, lots of mice. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was an experience. So I'm lying in my hammock at night and I hear, you know, the sound of tiny feet and it's a mouse crawling up the guy line of my hammock and then I turn on my light and he's on the bug net right above my face. So, uh, yeah, lots of mice, which is not the best thing. So we've got uh, basically all of our food hung up and everything out of the way of the mice and hoping they don't chew through any of our gear and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes um, plan for today is to just get out explore and do some fishing so yeah we'll see how it goes Fish on. Just a little, Lee. Take it.
finish on. large nose bat. So what do you think? That's oh, a pretty nice day. It looked a little sketchy this morning, but it's clearing up very nice. Not too hot and no bugs right now with the breeze. So beautiful. I went out fishing and I caught two. Yeah, like the first one within a couple of minutes. You caught how many? Uh, I caught about a dozen. A dozen? I did. <laughs> Into the boat? Yeah. Really? But, but <laughs> I don't think any one of them was bigger than five inches long. Okay. Well, neither were mine, I don't think. The first one might have been five inches. <laughs> yeah, mostly largemouth bass, one rock bass. Um, some, of them were, some of them were more minnows than fish, but it was still fun. I was feeling really good about how many I caught because I thought you only caught three. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I tried to show you, you were tying, retying your line. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that was a beaver near you, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the mice, you gotta talk about the mice. Yeah, well I mentioned it earlier, but yeah, <laughs> mice. I'm hoping that I can actually film them tonight, but they come out when it's getting dark and it's a little bit difficult, but yeah, tons of mice. Or a couple really active mice. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, crazy, eh? They're not afraid, yeah. Yeah. Looking at you through your hammock. Yeah, well, and what was on your shoulder yeah. last night. Oh. <laughs> After I made fun of you for reacting to the one on your foot. Yeah. I got one on my shoulder and I just leapt out of my skin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. You just sit in there dark and then all of a sudden you feel something on you. And... So we're on Smoky Lake. I think I mentioned that yesterday when we got here. But yeah. And then uh, there's a like a fishing lodge here fly in. So uh, there is a bit of motorboat traffic, but not a ton of that either. No, it's not that obtrusive. Yeah, like, what, so one just went by, I guess they're heading home now, or for yep. for afternoon. How many went by first thing this morning, two? I think a total of two, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah, there's been three, and they're not giant boats either, they're whatever. Yeah, they're little. Little. Like 14 footers with nine horsepower motors. Right, yeah, so, no, it's good, yep, enjoying it, so, yeah. Do you know what we're going to have for dinner tonight? We could have um, dehydrated chili. Give it a go. Sounds good. Yeah. First attempt, we'll see. Yeah. So I guess the afternoon will probably be just getting stuff ready for the evening, find some firewood and relax a little bit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, it's pretty nice out here. This, this terrain is just gorgeous so much evergreen and rock and mm -hmm. so it's unique
very nice. It turned out well. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> 